I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And hey, the game of golf is played outside, and when we're outside, we get a variety of conditions, and you've got to be able to change the trajectory of your ball flight if you want to be able to play the game. And that's what we're going to talk about here today. We're doing a deep dive in that. Hey, now be sure to subscribe to our channel, this community here at US Golf TV. If you love golf, this is the place for you. And also be sure to ring the bell. And you know I love hearing from you because I want to know which one of these tips I'm going to share with you, you're going to try out first. So be sure to leave a couple comments as well. So let's dive right into this. We're talking about bringing the ball flight down. So I'm going to talk about some different things we can do first of all to help us do that. Some setup stuff, some things you can do with your swing. I'm going to also tell you a little bit about what are some different times that you might be able to lower your ball flight that can be helpful on the golf course. And at the end, I'm going to give you a nice little simple tip that can help you do it every single time. So first of all, when we talk about lowering the ball flight, what we're talking about is the standard trajectory that you hit a golf shot. So I've got my six iron right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit a stock shot to get started here. Okay, now that ball is going to have a particular height to it. If I want to bring that ball flight down, here's some simple things that I can do. The first thing that you can do is change your speed. All right, so if I swing this club at my normal speed with my six iron, let me hit it again here. Okay, I'm going to get a particular height. But if I make the same swing with the same club, but I just simply slow it down a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and just slow it down. Okay, that ball flight is going to naturally come down a little bit. So the easiest way to understand this is think about if you've ever played golf with somebody who's got a slow swing speed, a young person uh, who maybe hasn't played a lot of golf, they might be hitting the ball really solid, but if they don't have the speed that you have, the ball flight comes down. So the first way and the simplest way to lower your ball flight is just to simply slow your swing down. All right, you don't have to change clubs, you don't have to do anything different in your setup, but by just bringing your swing speed down, the ball flight's gonna come down a little bit. That's why you've probably heard the phrase, when it's breezy, swing easy. All right, because the most common mistake that most golfers make is when it's really windy, they start trying to swing faster and harder. All they do is add height to the ball. So that's tip number one, bring the swing speed down, that'll help. Let's talk about the setup. All right, so I've got my Reimer Short Game Trainer here, and I use this anytime I'm working on ball position. So let's say in my standard ball position with my six iron, all right, I've got it right off there. I want that to be just ever so slightly in front of the buttons on my shirt, right? I've also got my stance width. That's a nice thing that I can do here with the Reimers. I can check my stance width. Got that right there. Now, if I want to bring the ball flight down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the ball slightly back in my stance, maybe one complete roll. I'm gonna move my hand just ever so slightly in front, okay? So I get set up, move the ball back a little bit, get the hands a little bit in front. That's the first thing that I wanna do. The next thing that I want you to do is I want you to slightly close your stance, all right? So I've moved the ball back, little forward shaft lane. I'm gonna close my stance a little bit, okay? Which gets me aimed a little bit to the right of the target. And then I'm gonna close the face a little bit so the face is still square to the target line. Now, why do I want you doing that? Because I want you to see, when you're lowering that ball flight, I wanna see you hit a nice little tight draw because when the ball is nice and tight and drawing, it's less likely to balloon and get up in the air, all right? So from the setup position, let's recap here. This is my normal ball position, okay? I'm gonna give it one roll back. I'm gonna close my stance just ever so slightly, forward shaft lean it, make sure the face is square to the target. All right, nice little tight baby draw, ball flight was down a little bit. So that's what we can do in terms of the setup, in terms of the swing speed. Simple things you can do immediately. So I'll be curious to hear from you. Which one of those two tips do you like the best? Which one do you think would be easiest for you to do when you head to the golf course the next time? So let's dive a little bit more. I wanna talk a little bit about the swing. What are some things that we could do in the swing? And then we're gonna talk about uh, some other ways we could use this particular shot. And at the end, I'm gonna give you a simple tip that you can do on the golf course to really promote that. So swing, what can we do with the swing? Well, the first thing I've already given you a little bit of insight on, and that is you gotta, you gotta slow your swing speed down a little bit. If you swing this club faster, all things being equal, the ball's gonna go higher. Okay, there's no debating that. So if you wanna bring the ball flight down, you gotta bring your swing speed down. The next thing though that you can do is actually shorten your swing up a little bit. 
So if my normal swing, when I send the club back, gets up here and my hands get above my trail shoulder, right? Right shoulder, and I finish it and I got a nice full finish. Let me go ahead and just demonstrate it. So I get set in here, I'm gonna give it a full swing. Okay, that was solid, high, drawing. Let's say I wanted to bring that ball flight down. Well, let's go through it. We're gonna move the ball back, we already know that. We're gonna close the stance a little bit, forward shaft lean it. I'm gonna bring my swing speed down, right? And I'm gonna shorten the swing up just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna give it like a three quarter. Oh yeah. Okay, definitely lower. Still a little bit of a draw. You'll notice I gave it just a little bit shorter swing on the back and on the through. So that would be what you would do with the swing. So some really good tips there so far that we've been able to do to help us bring that ball flight down. So let's also talk about some other ways that you could use this shot on the golf course when it's not windy. Today, beautiful day. Beautiful day here. We've had a lot of wind lately, so, but today happened to be a nice calm day. But this shot you could also use in a couple other spots. Let's say you need to hit the ball a little bit lower because it was in the trees. You wanted to bring your ball flight down. Okay, that's just, this is how you would do that. Another way that you can use this shot is if the pin is in the back of the green. So let's say you're hitting a shot, let's just say it's a par four, all right, and the pin is in the back you want to land it in the middle of the green and roll it to the back, this is the time that you could hit that shot because the ball's a little lower, it's gonna land, it's gonna come in at a little lower angle, and then therefore it's gonna release a little bit. Why is that helpful? Well, if the pin is all the way in the back and you try to fly it to the back and you miss it by four or five yards and airmail the green, you could have problems, all right? So this is the shot that you can use, of course, into the wind, but you can also use it to get out of trouble if you're in the trees. You can also use it if you want to land the ball and get it to release a little bit, for example, when the pin is in the back. Or the last time you might want to use it is simply if you're really struggling with your game. What I have found is this shot right here that we're talking about is a nice, simple way, if I feel like my swing is just not where it needs to be, that helps me get around the golf course. It's kind of like my go-to, all right? It's like going to the bullpen, you're like, I don't have my A game today but I know I can hit this little knockdown shot, this little wind shot, and I can get around the golf course. So those are a couple things that we could do there. So I'm really curious to see which one of those tips I've given you so far you think would be the most helpful for you. Be sure to leave that in the comments. Now, I promised you here at the end, I'd give you a simple tip that you could do on the golf course to help promote this feeling, all right? And this is one I give all of my students. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your regular setup. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it first, then I'll go ahead and hit a ball. So you take your regular setup, and you're gonna go directly from setup towards the finished position. Now as you do that, you're gonna feel like you're squeezing your elbows together a little bit. So I'm here, I'm gonna take my elbows and start squeezing them together all the way into a finish. Now, why do I have you go from setup directly to finish? Because when you're here, in order to get that club moving and you start squeezing your elbows, you have to rotate your body and you have to keep the club face square. So this is a great way to get a sense of what it feels like for the club face to be square, the body to be rotating, and keeping things right in front. So let me go ahead and demonstrate it. We got our setup. I'm gonna go ahead and make a practice swing. I'm going from setup directly into finish, elbow squeezing. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the setup position that we talked about. Close the stance a little bit. One roll back. Okay, club face square to the target. A little bit of forward shaffling. Now I'm going to just recreate that feel. Elbow squeeze through. All right, there it is. Ball flights down. Nice little baby draw. This shot here is helpful not only in the wind, but in a variety of other situations. It's simple, it's easy to do, and now you can add this shot to your bag.